Good evening. It's Saturday the 31st of December and it's time for the news on Rick 2. A massive fireworks display has lit up Sydney Harbour as Australia's largest city ushered in 2017. Some one and a half million revellers had been expected to turn out on the waterfront. Earlier, Auckland in New Zealand became the first major world city to welcome the new year. The midnight fireworks display at Sydney Harbour paid tribute to Prince and David Bowie, two music superstars who died in 2016. This year, sadly, we saw the loss of many music and entertainment legends around the world, Fireworks co-producer Catherine Flanagan said. So celebrating their music as part of Sydney New Year's Eve fireworks displays is an opportunity to reflect on the year that has been and what the future may hold. Pacific islands, including Samoa, Tonga and Kiribati, entered 2017 at 10 a.m. GMT, followed an hour later by Auckland, where fireworks erupted from the 328-metre tall sky tower in the city centre. European capitals tighten security ahead of New Year's celebrations, erecting concrete barriers in city centres and stepping up police numbers after the Islamic State attack in Berlin last week that killed 12 people. In the German capital, police closed the Parisia Platz Square in front of the Brandenburg Gate and prepared to deploy 1,700 extra officers. Many along a party strip where armoured cars will flank concrete barriers blocking off the area. Last week's attack in Berlin, in which a 24-year-old Tunisian ploughed a truck into a Christmas market, has prompted German lawmakers to call for tougher security measures. In Milan, where police shot the man dead, security checks were set up around the main square. Trucks were banned from the centres of Rome and Naples. Police and soldiers cradled machine guns outside tourist sites, including Rome's Colosseum. In Cologne in western Germany, where hundreds of women were sexually assaulted and robbed outside the central train station on New Year's Eve last year, police have installed new video surveillance cameras to monitor the station square. The attacks in Cologne, where police said the suspects were mainly of North African and Arab appearance, fueled criticism of Chancellor Angela Merkel's decision to accept nearly 900,000 migrants last year. In Brussels, where Islamist suicide bombers killed 16 people and injured more than 150 in March, the mayor was reviewing whether to cancel New Year fireworks, but decided this week that they would go ahead. In Paris, where Islamic State gunmen killed 130 people last November, authorities prepared for a high-security weekend, the highlight of which will be the fireworks on the Champs-Élysées, which some 600,000 people are expected to attend. Across France, more than 90,000 police and thousands of soldiers will be on duty for New Year's Eve. Russia urged the UN Security Council yesterday to give its blessing to a fragile ceasefire in Syria, the third truce this year, seeking to end nearly six years of war in Syria. The Security Council met behind closed doors for an hour to consider a proposed resolution endorsing the ceasefire that Russia and Turkey announced on Thursday. Diplomats said Russia has requested that the 15-member council vote on the resolution today. Clashes, shelling and air raids in western Syria marred the truce shortly after it went into force at midnight on Thursday, and violence appeared to escalate later yesterday. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said the parties were prepared to start peace talks intended to take place in Astana in Kazakhstan. Syrian state media said late on Thursday those talks would take place soon. Three bombs killed 29 people in Baghdad today as fighting intensified in the northern city of Mosul, where Iraqi government forces are trying to rout Islamic State militants from their last major stronghold in the country. Blasts, including one suicide attack, tore through a busy market in the Sinak neighborhood. A pro-Islamic State news agency said the target was Shiite Muslims whom the militants regard as apostates. A third blast later in the day killed four people in the eastern New Baghdad district, where a minibus packed with explosives blew up in a busy commercial street. Islamic State has continued to launch attacks in the heavily fortified capital, even after losing most of the northern and western territory it seized in 2014. 
The recapture of Mosul would probably spell the end for Islamic State's self-styled caliphate, but the militants would still be capable of fighting a guerrilla-style insurgency in Iraq and plotting or inspiring attacks on the West. A Rio de Janeiro policeman confessed to murdering Greece's ambassador to Brazil in what investigators called a cowardly act carried out at the direction of the diplomat's Brazilian wife, with whom the officer was romantically involved. Ambassador Giriagos Armiridis, 59, was missing since Monday night. Francoise, his Brazilian wife and the mother of their 10-year-old daughter, reported him missing to police on Wednesday. Officer Sergio Moreira, 29, confessed to police yesterday that he killed the ambassador late Monday night in the Rio de Janeiro home they owned in a hard scrabble neighborhood in the city's sprawling, violent northern outskirts. The investigator told reporters that Francoise, 40, and Moreira had arranged the murder a few days in advance. Armiridis served as Greece's consul general in Rio from 2001 to 2004. He was Greece's ambassador to Libya from 2012 until he took the top Brazil post at the beginning of 2016. And now a look at New Year's Day weather. It will be partly cloudy tomorrow with isolated rain and showers and snow at times over higher ground. Winds will be moderate to fresh, mostly northeasterly to northwesterly, becoming strong in windward areas, force 4 to 5. The sea will be moderate. Temperatures will reach 13 Celsius inland, 15 in coastal areas and one over the mountains. The depth of snow is 65 centimetres on Mount Olympus and 55 on Tudor Square. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow again for more news in English. Have a very good evening and have a happy new year.